Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over the basics of creating your own theme. And we're going to be doing this with Omega as our base theme. We're going to be creating a sub theme which can be named anything we'd like, okay? So, what you're going to want to do first is head over to drupal.org slash project slash Omega, and you're going to want to head a, uh, go ahead and grab the latest version of Omega and get that going on your site. And then also, you're going to want to grab this module called Omega Tools. And this module is just going to give you an interface to create a sub theme uh, because there's a lot of files you have to change the names of and stuff. And this just makes it easier to just automate that process for you. Because you could do uh, an Omega sub theme without Omega Tools, but I mean, really, it's, it you know, just saves you a step or two. So you might as well use it. So go ahead and grab this Omega Tools, enable it as a module, and grab Omega as a theme. Once you have that, go into your appearance in your Drupal administrative section, click appearance, and then we'll scroll down here and you'll see some stuff. Okay, this ST right here, a theme for Scott's site, this is one I have already made. So you can just ignore this one, uh, but you should be seeing this alpha and you should be seeing omega. And what Alpha does is it provides sort of the, the templating for creating your sub theme. And you could, uh, if, if you were making the theme without Omega tools, you'd probably be using uh, from the Alpha folder. And you could find information on how to do that on the Omega, um, their page right here. They have an official handbook and everything. So you can go ahead and read that if there's something you're interested in doing. But you might as well just use Omega tools, like I said. So we're going to enable this um, Omega Core one, and it just says, oh, yeah, Omega, okay. And up at the top here, you're going to see something here, uh, install new theme. And if you installed this Omega Tools module, you're going to see this create a new Omega sub theme. You're going to want to go ahead and click that because we're going to be creating a sub theme. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to edit a base theme directly. So if you downloaded Omega, you could potentially go into the CSS, change it, and have it look at how it should. But that's not really the spirit of, of theming in Drupal. If you have a base theme, the base theme stays itself. So that way, uh, when updates get pushed out for the base theme, you can just keep updating that, and it's not going to affect anything. You don't have to worry about overwriting your own theme or anything. But really, you want to create a sub-theme if you're using a base theme. Um, and that goes for any of them, Zen or, uh, you know, uh, uh, adaptive theme or any of them. Uh, the reason I use Omega over any of those is mostly because this is the one I'm most familiar with. Uh, I've used uh, adaptive theme, I've used Zen. However, uh, Omega gets used most often for reasons unknown and now I'm the most comfortable with it. So whatever you may find, you can check out some of the other ones, but I, I would probably recommend checking out Omega because it's been, it's been really great to use. Okay, so we clicked add a new uh, sub theme. Now we want to give this a name. We're just going to say this is going to be level up theme and uh, install automatically. Um, this is select whether you want to install this theme automatically placed in the selected destination. Yes, yeah, so we want to install automatically. Uh, destination is going to be all because we want to install in the sites all themes. Okay, and here is where you get to choose what your base theme is. You can see alpha omega or st we're going to use omega st was the one i had created before um and now starter kit here uh so what the starter kit is is it basically uh gives you some files and um and if you're using the omega html5 starter kit um, it's going to basically make sure your site is completely HTML5, or you can use the older XHTML starter kit. Um, personally, I would just recommend using the HTML5 starter kit. I don't, I don't know exactly why you wouldn't use that at this point. Um, if you need to support older browsers, um, you can always use the HTML5 shim or, or shiv or whatever people are calling it. Um, uh, we can go over that if that's something that is of interest. So let's click save and continue, and it's going to create this theme for us. Okay, so I've successfully created a theme, level up theme, and now I can give a description. The theme for level up tots. Okay, cool. And this is just going to be version 1x. 
uh, you can change that later if you'd like. Now I'm going to click continue. And uh, okay, this is the final step to, for configuring your subtheme. Okay, well, let's click some of this advanced configuration to see what's here. Um, and I'm going to check enabled because I want this to be enabled and I want it to be my default theme because this is what we're going to be working with. So here it gives you the option to manipulate the theme uh, info, the .info file. And we'll go over .info files a little bit more. In fact, Omegas is going to be looking a little bit different than any other themes really because it's a little bit more complex. But when we're going to be wanting to add JavaScript or CSS files to our, our page, um, this is where we're going to be telling to do that. I'm going to go over that in the next lesson. I'm going to show you how to add a CSS and everything. Uh, we're going to go over more project setting up stuff. But for all you need to know right now is that you can change this info file before you even you know get going. But I'm not going to need to change it. We'll close this um, and we'll just save this. Click finish. And we should have, if all is well, um, a new default theme. Let's click out of this admin here. And this is what Omega looks like when you get it. It's completely stark. It is completely blank slate. Uh, but what it does have by default is these two grid and blocks turned on. Of course, you can turn them off. Uh, but when you're just starting to debug, you're just starting to theme your site, uh, it's nice to have these on to sort of know, see exactly what's going on under the hood, where things are located, and what exactly everything is. Okay? So, this is uh, how you create a sub theme with Omega. Here you have your new theme, and we're going to get ready to go in the next lesson. I'm going to show you how to get set up with uh, SAS, CoffeeScript, everything. Okay? As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.